Hi guys, so coronavirus has everyone going crazy. I know, I know. I am a lot uh, more calm than people around me, I guess. You know, I'll keep my reservations to myself. It honestly just feels like it's like a cold that is media coverage, is making it so hype. It's like H1N1, swine flu, and the, the Ebola, and all these other things that we've lived through that were kind of like, oh my gosh, and then kind of fizzled and disappeared. But it's always better safe than sorry, right? Schools around us are closing. Some schools are closed for like three weeks. So just in case our kids have to be in the house, for days and days and days, you know, some things that they can eat, they can make quickly. Um, if too, if someone, one of us is sick, if we have to quarantine ourselves, things really do get that bad. Some things that we can have that are going to um, sustain us, you know, for a while, for quite a while. So I'm upstairs in my office. You guys know I put everything downstairs in the kitchen, but if there's a specific perfect purpose for something or for, ugh, can I talk today? If there is a specific perfect purpose for something, or if there's something that I typically, I literally just have to put up because I have too much bulk or whatever, I bring it up here. So I'm going to show you all the items that are still in the bags. Like this is nothing cute. This is just impromptu. This is not even what was going to be posted today, but I just thought maybe I can help um, show people who are one panicly and kind of like calm the panic if you guys take the precautions you should be fine and even if you are someone that you know um does get this virus which is a virus as long as you go to the doctor treat the symptoms you should honestly be okay but i'm going to flip the camera and show you guys all the things that i purchased yesterday there are some things downstairs the toilet paper <laughs> um but i want to show you the food items that we purchased and how we're preparing for just in case you know better safe than sorry all right, y'all, so these are the bags. Again, nothing cute, nothing fancy. My kids literally just threw them in here. Like, they were like, what you mean? Take it upstairs, huh? But <laughs> this is the things that I got. So again, um, only for um, if we need it, if the kids are out of school for extended periods of time, if there's any reason that we have to be in our house for a specific amount of time that's longer than normal and we can't really get out or go or if I get sick you know and my family can't really get out and go so let me show you guys and while I'm showing you I'm gonna try to organize it a little bit so first I got some cereal cereal is always something super simple and easy that the fam bam can eat it lasts a couple days only a couple days in our house but I got Cheerios and cinnamon toast crunch let me go ahead and throw those back there in this bag I got coffee because y'all know there's no way no way that I'm gonna survive in my house or any house without coffee so I got coffee I got some pop tarts I actually got the right kind this time these are the brown cinnamon so I got two packages of those got snacks for me these are the chewy snack bars salted pretzel and then I got I think these are like the strawberry ones or something so that is that bag I'm just gonna Put them over here try to organize this i got dove we really just needed dove but i'd be daggone if we're in a house with funky bodies so i got two packs of those because that was something i was already running low on um so i got infant milk for octavia renee because god forbid you know i can't get out or you know anything crazy really does happen and my baby doesn't have formula so we did get two of these so i got one there I got some rice, some yellow rice. These are just peanut packs, something simple and easy that's already pre-made. Brown rice. So, I mean, if anything, let me move this. If anything, we should still be able to cook and be in our house. So it really is just getting things that can sustain you. If you aren't unable to go to the store, just making sure you have enough in your house. So here's a second infamil. So I got two packages of these. These are the Velveeta. I got some stock because, I mean, sick or not, in the house or not, my food is not going to be bland. So I got some stock. And I did get a lot of soup. So these are the Campbell Southwest Style Chicken Chili. I got two of these. It's over there. Here. Oh, I got a good amount of these. So you guys will see these a lot. The tuna and then also the rice. 
right. So lots of stuff that my kids can literally just pick up and eat. So lots of SpaghettiOs. I got lots of soups. All of them are some type of chicken because that's generally all my husband eats. So all different types of SpaghettiOs and soup in there. I didn't get any vegetables, like, like canned vegetables because... One, ain't nobody eating no canned vegetables. We really just do frozen or fresh. Um, and two, if things really go down to it, I need them to be able to get like a full meal out of the stuff that I purchased. So in here, again, there's more of the SpaghettiOs. There's some red sauce for spaghetti. I got these. These are apple sauces. And then another soup right here. We got water. There's a lot more waters downstairs. I'll show you guys when I go downstairs. Um, oops. Show you guys. But I went ahead and got these because my family does waste the little bottled waters. So every time I get fed up with them, I end up purchasing these. Because if you pour yourself a glass of water, you're going to sit there and drink it. But what happens is the bottled water, they open them, put it down. Don't remember whose it is or who set it right there. And then it ends up getting poured out. So waters but we got a good amount of them i got another coffee so i got some snacks for the kids these are just chocolate and chocolate fudge they love those and then just some more um noodles i did make it a point to only get things that we actually eat in our house so all of these if there is no pandemic um will eventually circulate itself downstairs into the kitchen where we're actually going to just eat it regular so i try to stay within the things that the kids actually do like things that i actually do like things that we actually do eat so anything this just means i did my shopping for next month this month it sucked but um better fit than sorry again so another cup of noodles my kids really do love the cup of noodles and then this is just pancakes so we got lots of these these are chow mein noodles just give them something different especially if they're in the house for a while honestly they don't want to eat the same thing they don't understand the magnitude of what's going on so just something different for them to eat it's not always the cup of noodle maybe sometime they can get this little chow mein noodle <laughs> so this over here uh, last bag yeah all this stuff is old like all this stuff is from my last amazon haul but in this last bag uh let's see we have rice so I do have these already, but I have the ones that say just add milk, but this one is just add water. So worst case scenario, I could use that water to make these. The ones that I already have downstairs, they are add milk. So eventually if I'm in the house for a long time, I'm not gonna have milk anymore. So I got these. Um, lots of rice, again, tuna. I did get some uh, fruit cocktail for the kids just so they can have some fruit. And then in here, I have lots of the little packages for Octavia Renee. So just a lot of different things for her. Yeah, and that's it, guys. So I'm going to leave this stuff here, run downstairs, show you guys the toilet paper and the water. But honestly, that's it. So in our laundry room, we have... So these are already items that I had. We already had the diapers. We already had the wipes. I did purchase, so it's five um, gallons of water. Um, I purchased this last night, which is just an additional package of toilet paper. Like my mindset as someone who used to coupon, one package of toilet paper is not enough anyway. So I would have already been ready to get another package. But that Charmin down there, I already had purchased. So that was already here in the house. That Viva was already here in the house as well. That's from my last haul. Um, it'll be posted after this haul only because... Since the coronavirus is so prevalent right now, I wanted to be able to put this out and talk about this. Um, I already had that and that. So. But guys, that's it. So I would recommend, even though I know it's super crazy out there, Walmart's running out, everything is running out, but I would recommend getting some items, even if it's just so if your kids are in the house for a good amount of time. I know a lot of colleges are closing. Um, it's just a lot going on, so stocking up on things that you guys already eat already use um if nothing really happens or nothing shuts down or um if the kids don't get out of school 
for an extended period of time. It's items that you already use, so it's no loss. So don't put yourself in a bind. I say don't steal from Peter to pay Paul. Don't take from your bills. But definitely budget a little bit extra just to get some items just in case. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Thank you guys so much. I say please, please, please be cognizant, be careful, take care of your family, take care of yourself, use extra precautions, wash your hands, you know, all that good jazz that we already been doing, right? Yes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, tomorrow, I will probably post my regular haul. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know if I want to do two hauls back to back, but that's kind of how it went this week. So I went to the grocery store Sunday. And then I went again yesterday, which was Thursday. So that's kind of how it worked this week. So thank you guys so much. Please have a great day. Be safe and subscribe too. So I'll see y'all in the next haul.